Hi, fellow traders. I hope everybody had a great Monday. I hope it was better than my Monday anyway. So you can probably guess what kind of day I had, you know, looking at what I've got written here. You know, yep, I had to shake it off. You know, it wasn't a very good day. Um, but, you know, reality is trading can be painful. But how we suffer through it and whether we suffer through it and let it beat us down and just drive us into the ground, that's our choice. You know, we have a choice not to let this stuff beat us up. You know, and the key is what we do when we experience these things. You know, we can just go through it or we can grow through it. You know, if we, if it will change us in a negative sense, you know, if we let it. So for me, I shake it off. You know, the negative, you know, I shake off the negative. You know, I don't let it beat me down. I look for lessons and I move on. You know, I'm just not going to let myself go through a bad day. I'm going to grow through the bad day. You know, you see, we can come out of tough days a victor or a victim. We can come out bitter or we can come out better. But we can come out defeated or we can come out motivated with this new wisdom that we gain. You know, and like my boy E.T. always says, for without struggle, you know, there is no progress. And I think we grow through our things. Now, yeah, the market is fickle sometimes. Sometimes it does stuff that just doesn't make any sense. But, you know, maybe we need to have a plan for that. You know, maybe there are things about the day that we could look at and say, okay, hey, maybe this isn't a day we need to, to test the market. And, you know, I look for things like that. I look for signs like that. You know, the day I forced myself to take a trade, I paid the price. But hey, that's, you know, that's trading. I learned my lesson and, you know, I'm going to move on. So when we have these bad days, you know, let's just shake it up. Let's figure out what we can learn from it and then, you know, move on. So XRX was on my watch list this morning. And you can see we were gapping down. And we had a good little distance between the 52 week low but I felt this would be a magnet okay and so my morning started out within the first five minutes no the first two or three minutes my frustration meter was pegged out okay because if you're watching this stock here's the opening five minute candle it washed all the way down to this um, 52 week low. That was my ultimate target. It went through all of my freaking targets and hit it on the first doggone candle. So you can imagine the frustration going through. Here was a stock I, I really was pumped about. I'm like, look, I mean, I can start the week off with a solid, solid trade and you know at least get a point out of this and no absolutely not look at this slap me in the face so you know we put in this low couldn't take it here because we never closed below it we made it down here but here's a level here well actually i'm sorry don't don't listen to me i'm still messed up in the head this is the opening range low this is a 52 week low right here. So this is the candle, you know, I put in all of this. It pretty much took out all of my targets, my initial targets. Now this opening range low was something I thought we would get on a secondary move. So because we didn't close below the five minute open range low here, I didn't get in. Here, we closed just above the 52 week low. So there was no way I was gonna get in this here. I had to wait for a bounce. And yeah, it could have been easy to chase because we opened and we started selling 
but the 52 week low was sitting right here so I was not going to take it unless we closed below this and took off so I was patient waited for the bounce we failed a hole over VWAP so I felt comfortable getting in here solid entry here but of course the market decides no you're not getting this move right now so it turned around and we pushed back up over VWAP now yeah I probably should have taken it off here but I had my stop just above this high and I let it work and it went ahead and it took it out it if you know right before the pop thankfully I didn't get any slippage on this but you know got out before the pop and you know we sold back off once we got back on the VWAP I gave it about 15 minutes and as soon as I get in on this candle the damn candle turns around and goes goes green on me goes against me I'm like you you got to be kidding me now my frustration meter has broken that peg holding it and now it's spinning around again that's how frustrated I was on this I mean I had to go in therapy for a minute and that's walking around in the backyard talking to myself so I know my neighbors saw me you know luckily they didn't call the the um the nut house to come get me because you know I had to walk around and and get my head screwed on straight we we couldn't get below this 52 week I mean the five minute open range low here to even make an assault on this again and you know I was just so frustrated I just let it stop me out I didn't even take it off but this is why I have hard stops because if I didn't, I might have been looking at a three or four, five hundred dollar loss today. Because that's how stubborn I would have been through all of this. And it all started with this. And I have to learn, you know, okay, fine. We didn't have much opportunity. This was the only stock that I felt gave me the best shot. I understand that. But. I could have just walked away. I mean, there was a nice reversal on um, CBS. And that actually sold off the rest of the day after that reversal. That would have been a decent trade. I think there was one or two other ones that I could have traded had I just let this go. And that was my initial thought to just let this thing go. Okay, but of course... I didn't and this is where I'm at so I mean I'm not I'm okay I'm just frustrated I'm not mad at my trading so to speak I know next time listen to myself just leave it alone when we put in a move like this just let it go um, don't even look at this anymore move on because this isn't the first time I've been caught like this on a stop they had this huge opening candle and just took up my whole trading range and you know I don't know if this was revenge you know me trying to get back at it I don't know but all I know is it didn't work out and I need to keep my eye open and just kinda stay away from these from now on I'm so NXPI this was the next one this one I actually had on watch as well and I was looking at it for you know opening range breakdown. Uh, what what I saw was at the open we pushed up, we pulled back a little bit. We tried to push up, couldn't make a new high. Sold off, lost VWAP, and lost the twenty. And that was my entry for my all day hold. You know, getting into this. You know, we'll look at that trade in a minute. But I was like, you know what? This can be a good trade. In my small account too, 100 shares, and we sell off several points, you know, because I honestly thought we were coming back. You know, the news on this wasn't that great. Um, it was just 
a reopening of a deal or something, you know, to me, it wasn't that great. It didn't, you know, warrant this big 10 point pop. You know, so I, I felt we were coming back and got a solid entry here and, and was looking good for a long time. I was waiting for it to hit, you know, pull all the way back. You know, I had a more aggressive target on this. Um, even if I had it at 108, that still wouldn't have been much. You know, I would have needed it at at least 107, 106. You know, I needed a bigger target than that. But you can see we really didn't set up at the open. We didn't didn't really sell off that much. And then God, for this just broke my heart here. This was the straw that broke the camel's back. Because you see, you know, here's an all-day hole. I'm in. I, monitored, I'm, I managed this off a 60-minute chart. Okay, this is managed like a somewhat of a swing trade. I'm giving it more room. Uh, I'm not watching it tick for tick. I'm, I'm letting it work itself out. And you can see we started working out beautifully. You now this candle kind of scared me a little bit, but then, you know, I'm thinking, you know, we're doing good because I looked at it going into lunch. And I'm like, well, we should sell off. Maybe we'll pop up a little bit and test VWAP, but we should sell off. And I come back from lunch and I'm stopped out. This one candle turned all the way back around and stopped me out. You can't predict this stuff. You know, this is something that happens. You really can't predict it. Um, and I can't say that I would have done anything different if I was here. You know, I had my stop for a reason. It was just over here. I had my stop for a reason. To allow the trade to work. And this is one of those instances where it, it didn't work and I got stopped out. This is probably one of the few times that I ever get stopped out on these. Um, we just didn't make a big enough move to take profit and it just turned around on me very quickly. Then just didn't have anything I could do. So, you know, very frustrating day, but it's over. I've, sh I've shaken it off and I'm moving on. You know, we're getting ready for tomorrow. So, you know, I could have not done that. I could have let this thing fester and eat away at me and dug an even deeper hole. But not going to do it. So that's going to do it for me tonight. You guys take it easy. Have a great night, a great evening, and I will catch you guys tomorrow.